Hello, my lovely Leos. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, just a heads up, uh, you might hear some snoring. That's my daughter. She is sick. So, you know, her nose is stuffed up and all that jazz stuff. So, you might hear her. You might not. So, let's get started. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this could be something happening now in the near future or the future. So, the readings are timeless. And also... This situation could play out vice versa for you, okay? Especially if you're a cross watcher, just, you know, place yourself wherever you need to place yourself. It is a general reading, my love. So, with that being said, let's see what messages there are. Spirit, please tap me into the Leo Collective. Tap me into their higher self. So for Leo, any messages for Leo and love? What is coming towards Leo and love? Messages, please. All right, so you have playfulness, and then you also have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, we will see how that plays into your reading. Let's hope you're not dealing with a childish motherfucker. <laughs> a childish motherfucker. Because when that playfulness card comes out, sometimes it can mean someone who's just childish. All right. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Leo in love? Angels, what is coming towards the Leo Collective in love? What is coming towards the Leo Collective in love? What is coming towards the Leo Collective in love? Those came out fast, so... Okay, I don't feel drawn to get that. Balancing the situation, substances affecting your life, regaining control. Okay. Some of y'all might be partying too much or drinking too goddamn much. All right, one more card for Leo. What is coming towards Leo and love, please? Okay, thank you. Then you have long distance trip, okay? Hmm. Well, this person could live at a distance from you. Perhaps they're from another country. Um... They could be a foreigner. Maybe met this person on vacation or whatever the case may be. What is coming towards Leo in love? You could be dealing with a Virgo or possibly a Gemini. I have Cancer here at the bottom of the deck. What is coming towards Leo in love, please? What is coming towards Leo in love? Leo. Okay. So you have the materialism, which is world. In the reverse, you could be doing with any of the fixed signs, Taurus, um, Scorpio, Aquarius, and a Leo like yourself. You have the five of cups in the reverse. So it looks like, Leo, someone hasn't let you go. Someone hasn't let you go. They, It's like they want forgiveness. You have the four of wands. They want to reunite with you. Hmm. Tell me more. What is coming towards Leo in love? Okay, the fool. What's coming towards Leo in love? So they want a new beginning. The five of wands and the page of... Ooh. <laughs> Leo, this motherfucker gonna call you up. They gonna call you up, baby. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also have Aquarius here. You could be dealing with another fire sign, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What I'm seeing here, like I said, somebody... Um, I feel like perhaps this person was a fucking fool. And I feel like they probably are still in that fucking energy of being a damn fool. Yeah. This is someone who's like, they're constantly leaping from one thing to the next. They're not a stable person. But they want a new beginning with you. Five of Wands. I feel like the fact that they may call you is like, you guys might get into some sort of argument. For some of you, this could be someone that you got into an argument with. But I feel like you might get in some sort of argument with whoever this person is when they call you or when they communicate with you. Because you kind of feel like they're foolish. Okay? Um, and obviously they let your ass down, right? Five of Cups in the reverse. They want forgiveness now. They want another chance. Four of Wands, they want to get together. I feel like during the holidays, this is when they're going to try to get together with you. Period. You know, they're going to call you up and be like, hey, happy Thanksgiving or... You know, shit, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas or Happy New Year, 
that's what they want like they're gonna use the holidays as an excuse to get closer to you or to hang out with you because with the world in reverse i feel like this is a, like you probably find yourself in some sort of like never ending cycle with this person you feel like it's always the same shit like it's always the same there's nothing different that comes from the situation that's what i feel so so some clarification but I feel like obviously this is someone that you're very attracted to. You know, you have a very good time around them. Playfulness. You know, this is someone who really makes you laugh. You like the vibe. <laughs> this is probably someone that you used to get together and drink with, perhaps. Or they like to drink. They might ask you over for a drink. Or they might invite you to like a bar is what I'm hearing. I keep seeing the four of wands. Something about that four of wands celebrations. Something like that. But they want a new beginning with you. I have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right, angels, what is the world in the reverse about for Leo? Why is the world in the reverse coming towards Leo? And uh, those just flew the hell out. So let's see. Yeah, you see? Cherry in the reverse could be a cancer you were doing you were dealing with. I just feel like the shit, uh, the situation just couldn't, it wasn't progressing. It wasn't going forward. It was stagnant. Yeah, see, the world, for some of you, this person could... Um, live overseas or maybe you met them while you were on vacation i said that already but i keep seeing the world something having to do with travel and then you have the moon in the reverse yeah it's almost like you know that it's not going anywhere with this person deep down you may know that that's what i'm seeing but they're gonna try to come in and ask for some sort of forgiveness or second chance something about travel though they might want to travel with you. They might be like, okay, let's take a vacation. Let's go, you know, somewhere together. They might ask you out on a trip is what I'm hearing. Shit. During this time of the year, I don't know. All right. Why is the Five of Cups here in the reverse? They want to do something with you. The Three of Cups. See, this person may have had you in some sort of third-party situation. For some of you, not all of you. And they may be married or whatever the case may be. And they want to take a trip with you. They could be cheating on their fucking spouse. Cheating on their their girlfriend or their boyfriend is what I'm feeling. That's for some of you, not all of you. For the rest of you, I just feel like maybe this was a friends with benefits person. And it's like you wanted more from them. Maybe they led you to believe that there will be something more. But it's like when it came down to it, they couldn't make up their mind. You have the three of cups in the reverse. For some of them, it was like a love triangle that went wrong. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you see, this is someone that they're sneaky, they're deceptive, or at least this is how they were in the past, okay? Sneaky, deceptive. And it's like, I feel like, Leo, you, you're, you're going to find it hard to move past this. So I feel like they're going to try to persuade you in a different way. Like, they might be like, okay, let's um, go on a trip together or vacation, okay? That's what I feel. Yeah. They're going to try to, like, sweeten you up. You see, you have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They're going to try to sweeten you up. But with the Magician in Reverse, we've seen this shit in the last reading. It's like, they will try to do whatever. They will say whatever or do whatever to kind of get their way. This is what I'm picking up. All right. Clarify the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands coming towards Leo in love? Tell me about the Four of Wands. See, the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. See, and then you show up as well, the Sun. For some of you, like, I'm feeling like they could, um, someone in their family, perhaps, maybe you, you're familiar with their family, they might be having some sort of baby shower, it could be a birthday party or something like that, they may try to invite you over for that, I don't know, I just pick up like, they, <laughs> this motherfucker gonna try to really, um, wrap it up, I don't know how, how to describe it, like, to wrap it up to make it seem like it's, they have pure intentions, and then they go back to playing the same kind of games that I'm picking up. The lovers. Hmm. Two of Pentacles. But I feel like this person was always back and forth about whether they want to commit or they want to be in a relationship or not. It's like they've always kept you in some sort of limbo. Clarify the fool. Why is the fool coming towards Leo in love? Like they, see they want another chance they want another beginning that's what they want could be a Scorpio that's what they want the fool is here 
That motherfucker, the fool wanna reconcile. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should name the video that. The fool wants to reconcile. Clarify the fool. And they know that you're seeing other people, keeping your options open. See? I mean, this could be happening, I'm talking about within a matter of like a few days from me watching this video. Something that's going to happen very soon. If you haven't heard from them, like I said, they're going to come in um, unexpectedly. Could be a Taurus. They're going to come in unexpectedly out of the fucking blue. And all of a sudden, you know, they're going to be like, okay, I changed. I don't know. It's we might have to extend this because I'm not sure yet if they have changed or if it's just another tactic that they have to try to, I don't know, get back into your life in some way. This person could be pretty reckless or like, I don't know. It's like they, 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 this is a player from the Himalayas, period. Clarify the five of wands. It's like they want to win. See, they want to win. For some of you, I feel like this person could know that. It's like they know that you're talking to someone else or you're seeing someone else, you're dating someone else, page of cups. And now here they go. They're going to try to come. See, they may have a ghosted you for some of you or abandoned you. Now they're going to try to come out of nowhere and talk to you and start things up, you know. But with the six, because they want a victory here. But I'm like, is it just attention they're looking for or do they really? Because I feel like at some point you and them, you weren't on the same page. Right about commitment, which left you feeling a certain type of way. Um, this person probably, you know, was very selfish. Five of Swords, and now here they are as the Page of Pentacles. You don't see any kings in this reading, so for this person to be showing up as a page, you got the Page of Cups too. This person could be very immature. I don't really feel like they have changed. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. This is someone who likes attention. It's like they just love. The attention you give them, or that's just, they're like an attention whore in general. Clarify the page of pentacles coming towards Leo in love. See, that's what they, now they're going to try to contact you because they want to, they want to meet up. They want to get together, but you have the three of pentacles in reverse. I told you. For some of you, this someone could be like, they play mind games. They know what to say, what to do. The King of Swords in reverse, he is not, he's a con artist in the reverse. He really is. He's very smart. He knows what to do, what to say. He could be a fucking narcissist too. So some of you might feel like they're a narcissist. I feel like this person just wants some attention. They want your attention. That's what I feel. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, but it's like they want to connect with you, but they may not still, they still may not be on the same page as you when it comes to, you know, us committing to each other, us being together, a relationship. You know, here it goes, Hierophant. Because this is what you want. Okay? This is what you want. This is what anyone right in their right mind who's looking for something stable would want. But this is what they may want. The fool. They're always wanting to play the field. And um, this person could be a childish. So what we're going to do, Leo, if you are interested, let's go ahead and take it to the extended to see if this person is serious or if they're just coming in to just fuck you up again, okay? So thank you so much, Leo, for tuning in. I love you all very much, and I will see you guys next time.